Hello everyone and welcome back to the Math Puzzle Crash Course. I uh, have another simple order of operations problem, uh, one that I've seen show up on Facebook. Uh, I've seen quite a few wrong answers on this one, a lot of right ones, but um, a lot of correct ones, but a, a few wrong ones. And I'd like to go through this one uh, real quick, kind of like some of the other order of operations examples I have. Um, this one is 4 plus 5 times 4 plus 5. And uh, we want to know what that equals. So if you'd like to, you can pause the video now and work this one out for yourself. Should be pretty simple. A lot of you probably have done this out in your head already and have an answer. But uh, if you want to pause it, you're not sure, uh, we'll come back in a second here and work this out together. All right, so if you remember uh, from, I guess, primary school, if you were in the UK or, I say, elementary school uh, in the US, um, multiplication has precedence over addition. Uh, there's a thing called the order of operations. Uh, and uh, you can think of multiplication as just being shorthand for repeated addition. Um, the way you solve this, the multiplication has precedence. So you take 5 times 4, which equals 20. And then it's uh, 4 plus 20 plus 5 equals 29. So the uh, the correct answer to this problem is 29. Uh, now, if you remember the order of operations, it first starts out with, uh, you have parentheses or brackets if you have them. Um, if you don't have them, you just go to the next step. Um, I know typically in North America, you have what's known as PEMDAS. Uh, which is, you, it's a kind of a memorization tool, parentheses, exponents, uh, multiplication, division, addition, subtraction. Um, but uh, um, your second step would be exponents. Um, those are also sometimes referred to as orders or powers of indices. Uh, square roots also fall in this category. Um, I know in the UK, the, the equivalent of PEMDAS is known as BODMAS. Uh, there's some other acronyms like BEDMAS and BIDMAS. Um, they all represent the same uh, four steps of the order of operations, just different names uh, used for some of these uh, parts. Um, uh, you, number, step number three is multiplication and division solved left to right. I've got a misspelling there, but it's left to right. Um, multiplication and division have equal precedence, so you just do them left to right as you find them. Uh, and then again, you have uh, addition and subtraction solved left to right. And again, those addition and subtraction have equal precedence. So this is the basic order of operations. Um, I've seen a lot of common wrong answers uh, that showed up on some of the forums are uh, 41 or 81. Now, in order to get 81, you'd have to have parentheses. Well, actually, for either one of these answers, you would have to have parentheses. You'd have to have parentheses around the 4 plus 5 and the 4 plus 5 in order to make this 9 times 9 equals 81. Uh, you don't have that. Um, you, do not, you do not add 4 plus 5 before multiplication uh, unless you had parentheses like this. And then the people that are getting 41, well, what they're doing is they're just going left to right and ignoring the order of operations. They're just taking 4 plus 5 first, you really have to have parentheses around that addition in order to do that. You take 4 plus 5, that's 9. 9 times 4 would be 36. 36 plus 5 would be 41. But you can see the only way to get 81 or 41, would it would require parentheses in the problem. There are none, so you follow the order of operations, which um, it says you start with multiplication. And um, a lot of people will say, well, why, why, why wouldn't it just be written 5 times 4 then plus 4 plus 5? Why not write it in the order that you're supposed to do it? Well, you have to think of this. It's not like reading a, a sentence in a language. You know, in a, you're not reading a book, a sentence left to right. We're solving a, uh, an equation. Um, multiplication, again, is shorthand for repeated addition. Um, you can take this 5 times 4 and replace it with addition. I mean, 5 4s is the same thing as saying 4 plus 4 plus 4 plus 4 plus 4, right? So if you take 4 plus 4 is 8, plus 4 is 12, plus 4 is 16, plus 4 is 20, 
plus 4 is 24, and then plus 5, you get 29. So you can see that you have to resolve that shorthand uh, before you do anything else. This is why multiplication has precedence. Um, but, uh, you know, problems, this, there's nothing wrong with writing the problem out this way, 4 plus 5 times 4 plus 5. We don't know what this equation might be representing. It could be, you know, I, I sold uh, four $1 items on Monday, uh, I sold five $4 items on Tuesday, and I sold five $1 items on Wednesday. You know, it could be something like that, and you're just making out this equation. So, you know, the answer would be $29 would be, you know, how much you've sold. So um, I hope this explanation has been helpful. Um, I do have some more videos covering order of operations. And uh, if this has been helpful, please consider liking, sharing, uh, subscribing. And uh, I look forward to seeing everybody in the next video.